Department of Justice estimates that at any given time, there are 2,500 children missing from San Diego. And within 48 hours of being missing, they will be approached by a sex trafficker. New tonight, NBC7 Investigates reporter Dave Summers takes us inside a group of former Navy SEALs leading the search for missing children. It may sound like the stuff movies are made of, but the group called Saved in America is real. 18 retired special warfare operators using their particular set of skills to bring back children lost to the streets, many sold into sex slavery. She now has short black hair, has a prominent dimple on her chin. It sounds like the kind of thing you might hear at a typical military special ops briefing. The protocol again is if you get eyes on, let us know. Except the target of this search and recovery mission is a 15-year-old Escondido girl, a runaway, missing since July. The surfing has been spotted in Santa Monica down, and downtown L.A. Through Oregon Department of Corrections, Lane County Court Records, and a former employer, NBC7 Investigates verified. Seraphine is traveling with a sex offender by the name of Tyler Levesque. He calls himself Tyler Rose and has a large rose tattoo on the left side of his neck. Court records indicate he is convicted of rape and molestation of underage victims. We don't know if she has been trafficked, but we know there's been ads for her. This day, three teams drive north to Santa Monica to search the Third Street Promenade, a Goodwill store there, and Venice Beach. And that was her, the before and after? A thinner, darker-haired Seraphine was recorded on security cameras at all three places since her disappearance. They have that drive in their heart to do something altruistic, something good, uh, comparable to what they did. Saved in America co-founder Joseph Travers says his team members called operators are former Navy SEALs, British SAS, and American law enforcement, all now licensed private investigators. The group is funded by the Lynch Foundation for Children and other donors. Operators donate their skills and time. Well, I got kids. SIA member Toshira Carrington spent 25 years in the Navy, 23 of those spent on SEAL teams. There's no gray area in this. And I have the training that can, that can help with it. So. The team has drawn some critics. While serving as Department of Justice Human Trafficking Task Force Commander, Danny Santiago had concerns about Saved in America tactics. We were afraid that since these are special operators and myself being a former member of the military, we were afraid that they were basically doing snatch and grabs. Out of 43 recoveries, we've never had to touch a child or one of the bad guys. And and only one of those operations did anyone even know we were there. Dave and Maureen Toll's 16-year-old daughter was one of those recovered. She disappeared from their Newport home in January 2016. The teen met up with her friend who had run away from her home a month earlier. The two got in a car with a man who drove them to Los Angeles. It's up to you to find your child. After three weeks working with law enforcement, but no closer to bringing her home, the family turned to Saved in America. The police just are too overwhelmed. Saved in America launched a website, offered a reward, and within a week received a tip leading them to their daughter. Her mother says she was found in Compton with suspected gang members. It probably saved her life, absolutely, because there's nothing good that was going to happen from then on. To be able to look a, mo a mother in the eyes like Maureen and to see just her heart when she knows I have my child back, that's our reward. Saved in America's search for Seraphine Bustillos continues. Close. A search of the promenade would not lead to Seraphine. Searchers did develop a new internet lead and intelligence on the man with whom Seraphine is traveling. Saved in America remains patient and vigilant, working against the clock, in this case, in every one they take on. There is an update on Dave and Maureen's daughter, and it's not the ending they were hoping for. After spending a year in therapy out of state, she recently returned to her family. She turned 18 last Tuesday. Maureen says her daughter disappeared the next day. There was a note indicating she wanted to start her life over. Her mother says she fears her daughter will end up right back from where she was rescued. Advocates for missing children say getting them back may be only half the battle. Many trafficked children become drug addicted, some even brainwashed by their handlers, and even with treatment, they sometimes return to the streets. I'm Dave Summers, NBC7 Investigates.